just isn't, right? No, it's just not how the paint works, you know, when you're first starting out. You know, yeah, she can get more, more detailed, more fine, fine line with it and everything. Um, but it takes, takes practice, you know, we'll talk about that more in, in further videos. Right, but that's not what we're really focusing on this time around. This time we're just getting gesturally with it, playing with it, and learning, you know, about wash techniques, right? How to properly maintain your paints, you know, your brushes, all that good stuff. Um, it does require more time and in overall maintenance, you know, um, with your brush and everything, but that's just the nature of the medium, right? So just, you know, accept that part of it and then uh, go along with it. Uh, If you watched my um, basic pencil illustration video, right? Um, it's the second one. You know, I was discussing about uh, blind contours and contour drawing and how it's very gesturally, you know, and that's that's what we're kind of that's what we're playing with here. You know, very gesturally strokes with the brushes and everything. Um, always going back to the paints, you know. You got certain effects. So if I'm looking to try and brighten things up, right? No, I'm gonna go back to the particular paint I'm searching for. Have it really come out. We'll blend it through. You know, and I'm really just giving a, a general indication, right, of what's happening here, you know. Um, whereas if this was uh, acrylics, I'd really get down into doing more realism and stuff. And it's not to say you can't do realism with watercolors, you absolutely can, right? But in the, the context of this video, um, we're not overly concerned with that part right now, okay? Right now we're just having fun playing with the paint, experimenting with it, right? Um, for me, personally, you know, this is paint I, didn't, I haven't used very much until the past couple of years, right? So uh, I'm, I'm definitely still learning from this medium. I mean, I learn every time I, I sit down to work and stuff, there's always something I'm picking up. But watercolors, you know, are the one medium these days that I'm learning the most from. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's an exciting part of, of utilizing it is you know how much more I'm learning every time I work with it um, and like I said it is you know in, in my opinion the funnest medium um, to play with you know because it has all the potential for uh, experimentation you know uh, flu fluid motion uh, fluid effects you know um, you can you can water down acrylics a lot and have it have it make it seem like watercolors but it's not going to be um you know you're not going to have the same uh, 
context. You know, definitely not the same application, um, experience. any of that all right let's see let me add another yeah let me add that color in there too there we go yeah that's let's bring that together you know and something to look out for is is uh when you're adding too much water you don't want it to start puddling up in certain areas so much necessarily, right? So pay attention to that while you're working. Okay, because when when the paper starts bubbling, you know, you're gonna get these dips and that's where the water's gonna hang out, right? And then all the paint's gonna flow into the, those little pools, right? And you know, um, it can pull away from what you're trying to represent okay and then, so you just have to keep managing it you know along the paper right so you don't necessarily add more water you just add more paint and then you dr pull that water pull that water that's you know the puddle of water up and you pull it around and all that good stuff right okay Instead of something that's just so rigid. You know, so, so we're basically dealing with you know vapor and moisture and uh, uh, clouds and everything here. You know, they all just kind of blend in along the edges there. You know, once again, I'm just giving representations of those those areas, all right? I'm going to start trying to really copy the whole thing right now. Uh, that. You know, and it's just kind of particular style, you know, that I'm working with. Style of art. Neighborhood's popping. What do you gotta say, Steve? Huh? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. Everybody say hi to Steve the Jower. He always hangs out. You know. Always got something to say. Um, you uh, checked out the uh, acrylic still life painting I did. You know the video. Videos. You know <clears throat> we're hanging out with Steve the whole time. He was very. Uh, He was very polite and stay in the same spot, you know, let us paint him. Um, normally he's, he's off into some mischief, trying to tear apart, you know, a video game station or TV or something like that. And, you know, he's a Jawa. That's what they love to do. So, all right, let's see what color this is here. Tray. Yeah, it's looking like it's brownish. It'll be good down here. Right? Kind of darken that a little bit. Like it's showing. Yeah. As you uh, as you as you're working with watercolors, you know, you're gonna see stylistic differences you're going to get versus other medium other paint mediums right because it is just water you know colored water so 
and you can have unexpected effects um, that you you know you weren't trying to apply. So you kind of you know um, find ways to work around that or work with it, right? Let me go back to the. Let me take the small round brush. Get it that yellow. You know, so yeah, you know, whenever you got something going on, in terms of uh, the effects the paint's making, it's not working with, you know, or something that's that's uh, not looking right, right? Um, you try and find ways to work work with that, okay? Um, you know, no, no two paints are the same. You know, I've had so many instructors tell me that um, every tube of paint has a life of its own. And the more I've been working, you know, with paint, uh, the more true that those statements are, right? For whatever reason, that's just how they exist. You know, I mean, for the most part, you know, you can figure on paints behaving basically is the same. But, you know, there's always subtle differences in their consistency or their, or their texture. You know, maybe there's they didn't, they didn't blend well enough when they were when they were um, putting them in the tube, right? So you got some kind of sludge or blob that comes out. You know, you got to manage with that, you know, and stuff. Um, happens all the time, especially, you know, cheap paints. You know, it really happens all the time. So, you know, when you're starting off <clears throat> painting stuff and you get inexpensive paints, you know, you um don't don't get too distraught you know if, if you're noticing that that paint's just not working well at all you know it's just kind of uh how how inexpensive paints uh, end up sometimes right um and you know you just manage through it okay now i'm really not liking that top part so much so i'm gonna wet that down see if i can't Pull that away a little more. You know, just make it more true. True to looking like a cloud. That's what it is. All right. I want to represent a little better than what I got there. Now, another thing to watch out for when you're adding too much water. Right, is the cotton's gonna start furrowing off, right? So you just get little cotton balls of paper. So you know, be mindful of that. Okay. Um, you know that happens with the cheap paper, right? It can, I should say. You know, um, but you gotta really like put down a lot of a lot of water, and you gotta be really coarse with it and stuff. Um, basically, you're putting down a lot of pressure. You know, you don't have to put down a lot of pressure either. Um, when, yeah, that's for sure. When it comes to watercolor, you know, when you're actually applying it on the paper, you know, you just lightly go over and stuff, and that's all you really need to do. Okay, um, anything more than that, it's kind of overkill, right? So be mindful of that. Okay, we blend these edges in a little better. Too. Right. Light fading. No, nothing 
cherry. Nothing too detailed, nothing too precise. You know, we're just playing around. Really at this point, I'm just trying to get it to resemble the, the atmospheric effect, right, at this point. I you know, make it look like cloud vapors and everything. Do a little more. Flat brush, clean water, and back to that blue a little bit. All right. I'm just wipe water down the page here. Try to add paint. Just kind of make it look more. Like the photo. All right. All right. Uh, let's go back to some of that purpleness. Yeah. There we go. Not too much. Not too much. Go back to the flat wash brush. There we go. Blend in a little better. All right. That's a real dark color there, so let's get into, uh, let's take, flip that down, all right, oh, yeah, the yellow, yellow blend, that's all right though, it's going to go really dark, so it don't matter, it don't matter that much, Turn that off, okay, we'll go real dark here. Good. Yeah. All right. For the lambs. Boom. Okay. So, and you know, you can change your color anytime you want. Just because it looks black here doesn't mean I gotta put black down. This is your painting. Do whatever you want. Have fun with it. Play with the colors. All right. <clears throat> you know. Uh, that's that's the beauty of you your own creative expression is and, you know you can do it however you want to do it it don't matter this is your enjoyment right if you're trying to go straight for realism then make straight realism you want to change everything you know um, around change everything around you know um, why not you know that's what I say you just add some more blues in there. That's what it's doing. That's what it's doing. Clean that off. Let me get some straight water. Water that down. All right. Water that down. No, now when I get to doing some real fine, fine realism with it, you know, then I'll use the liner brush and everything to get down to real detail, you know, uh, don't really call for it on this piece, you know, 
so I'm not really gonna bother with it. Okay, so I got the green down. I'm gonna throw some purple on that, right? You know, clean that off, clean that off again, one more time. We'll just dump that in there, clean that out. Add some clean water into this cup. So I got a new wash cup. <coughs> okay, let's get into, yeah, let's get into some earth tones now. Um, yeah, some raw umber. So I wanna, really wanna get that, that bottom border looking proper. You know, now the browns, I mean, this is basically like dirt. You know, that to deal with to, to get that color, right? You know, it's a, you know, so it's going to require a lot of, a lot of pigment. hard to pull off. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's get into yeah, let me try the other block set. Let's do that. Same color, but it's just coming up a little easier. Right. Different brand, just as expensive. <laughs> you know. But how they produce it is just a little different. Alright. Okay. Let me go ahead and pull. Giving a representation, right, of what that photo resembles. Black. I'm just gonna give it some depth there, right. Motion in the background. So be, gotta be mindful of that black because it's still wet. I don't want those to bleed together. All right? You can see here the water's puddling down. It's, it's lifting up and bubbling. So, you know, just pull that water some more. Get it over here. It's all about managing that water. You know, be mindful of it. I'm not getting the floor wet. Okay, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's pretty wet there. Let me pull some pigment. Straight paint. There we go. enough to get get some paint on it. I'm just gonna try and create some kind of cloud looking effect here. 
at least it looks like a cloud, right? I'm just trying to get that representation. Yeah. Okay. A little bit here. If you have any questions about any of this or you know by all means please uh, give me comments critique my my uh, instruction videos here right let me know how i'm doing for you guys you haven't know if i can do better where i can do better you can always do better in certain things so you know um certain areas where you think uh i definitely need improvement on in these videos please let me know it's, you know this is all this is all for all of you you know it really is. Um, I'm just trying to. Now I'm using my liner. Okay. Give some definition. Right. So this is where you can really get more painterly. Okay. So, but uh, yeah, all these videos are for all of you. You know, so I want to make sure that you're getting the most out of out of it all. Okay. Um, you know. I w I've been very fortunate in my life to have a lot of people um, teach me a lot of things and in my uh, artistic endeavors and everything like that. I'm just trying to, you know, pass it forward, especially at times like this, you know, um, where, you know, basically the whole world's in crisis and everything. Um, it's just, you know, um, Things are shut down and, and everybody's at home just being safe and you better be at home being safe and being healthy, you know. Uh, hate to hate to lose anybody out there, you know, whether I know you or not. I just want you to be able to find something to do with your time and this is a great thing to do with your time you know and just play around with paint or whatever medium you're using right um it's a great way to let stress out or you know things that are on your mind and everything you know i uh i have certain times in my life where i haven't i wouldn't touch touch Number two pencil to a piece of piece of notebook paper for months, you know, and then certain times where I'm just pushing out, you know, a dozen paintings in two weeks and everything. So um, it's all relative. You know what I mean? It's all relative. How you're feeling, what you want to put, what you want to, how you want to express yourself. You know, maybe it isn't. Maybe it isn't in the, in the fine arts. You know, maybe you're writing. You know, or singing, or or whatever. You know, however you want to express yourself, right? Um, you know, during this time, just do what feels right for you. You know, honestly, uh, this always feels right for me. So this is what I do. You know, and getting into watercolors, you know, is a lot of fun for me because it's it is relatively new. Um, yeah, now it's starting to look more like the photo, huh? So, yeah, it's, it's relatively new. Um, it's, it's wicked fun. You know, I can't tell you, it's like, uh, for me, how much I really enjoy playing around, uh, with this medium and everything. Because it's, it's mostly experimental, you know, at this point. Well, I shouldn't say that. I mean, I've learned a lot. From it, you know, a lot of it's just review from my years in uh, you know, school and stuff. You know, I, I learned a lot about watercolor, but um, I forgot a lot about it. You know, um, and there, there's there's so many different applications for it. Um, yeah, let's go back to the small round. Uh, so many different applications for it. Um, and 
great ways to use it as an expressionistic medium, right? Um, it's a great way to look at flow of uh, paint and, you know, managing a brush. All that good stuff. All right, okay. So since I added a little too much color up in there, what I'm going to do is they, add, you know, they do make a white watercolor paint and everything. Because, um, you know, sometimes you just need white, right? So white it is. Oh, oh, more paint. There we go. So yeah, so white it is. Now white, you definitely don't want to cross contaminate because, you know, it's real easy to, to lose that true uh, pigment and you know and hardly ever get it back because you really have to just keep pulling away off the top um till you till you get that contaminated paint out of there you know if you really want to have maintain it that purity for white right why it isn't that is really really solid Let me take a little convince in here you know um, in the art supply video you know I, I mentioned that uh, here we go I mentioned um, the koi paint set um, that's an inexpensive uh, set um, it's a travel set Right, um, it's got 24 colors, it's really good, you know, in terms of like uh, when you're just uh, starting off or get into a little more advanced painting and everything. Um, but it has white in there and that white, work, you know, comes off pretty well. Um, But the problem with that set is the cubes are so close together, it's wicked easy to cross contaminate. I mean, real easy. So that's just something to be mindful for. But, you know, it's, it's worth the money. It's worth the time to use. Um, the paints themselves, you know, for what you're spending on, they, they put out a really good uh, hue, you know, in terms of richness of color and everything. And, you know, um, and you know, it comes in a small little case like this and stuff, and it comes with its own water brush, which is nice. You know, it being a travel kit and all that. Okay. So and another thing you could do, you know, if you really wanted to, like the white's not working out, you know, you could pull from your acrylic sets, you know, pull some titanium white, water it down a lot, right? So it's basically like a watercolor, and you can make blend that in. You know, you can always do that. Um, you know, it's one, one thing about, about doing artwork is, you know, the only rules are the ones you make, really, you know, for the most part. Um, now, yeah, there is such elements to a good piece of art, like composition, right? You know, um, I don't necessarily want to have things that are going to take my eye off the page, you know, and stuff. Like for, when you're looking at this, this uh, photo here. You know, you instantly go to the brightest spot, right? And then it brings you up and then you curl around to here. Okay, so just, you know, if you look at the, the way that forms, then it gets light again here. Then you have the moon, yeah, and it brings you back around. So it's pretty much in a circular motion, right? Uh, that's, that's, um, that's part of what makes a good uh, piece of artwork is composition. You know, you don't want to have some you don't have this thing just going straight off the page and that's and that's where your eye goes you know um, then it, you know then you don't really uh, encompass um, the entire piece so um, you know let's we'll do a couple more things here Go 
down a little. I just want to pull that up. Manage it. All right. But since it's already interacting with the black, you know, maybe I'll just take my cloth and just kind of on that edge. There we go. You know, and that's because the way the paper bubbled, water started coming down. All right. Um, so yeah, you know, that's, that's, that's it. You know, that's the basics right there. Right. I'll just go ahead and throw in a little indicator of the moon. Right. And then it's a little, a little too a little too top heavy or a little too um, in the foreground. Right. I'm just gonna wet it down some more and pull some of that paint off. There we go, now it's looking like it's a little more part of the background there. Okay. And then, you know, if you really want to get into it, sign your name. Uh, apparently you want to sign your name in the bottom right corner. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, so, um, okay, so yeah, there's some basics for watercolors. You know, um, I, hope, uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Um, once again, yeah, you can uh, follow me on Instagram at Smitty Art Explorations. Um, I also have a website, www.smittyartexplorations.com. That's my online portfolio. Um, feel free to uh, message me there as well if you'd like. Um, uh, it's soon to be updated, and soon I'll have um, uh, merchandise, you know, posters and T-shirt prints uh, available for sale, you know, um, this year. And uh, um, once again, you know, if, if you're, if you're able to, um, you know, any generosity you could, you could, uh, contribute, uh, please, uh, cash app profile dollar sign S M I T I C E dollar sign Smith ice. Um, that money helps to continue with this series and, um, yeah. And hopefully you'll, um, tune in for the next one. Um, the next watercolor, we'll get more, more involved in, uh, some realism. You know, and uh, how to utilize uh, uh, more detail work with the brushes and everything. Um, we'll use a better uh, paper. I might even do it on an illustration board. Um, and uh, we'll also discuss uh, a different kind of um, watercolor, a watercolor pencil. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll I'll show you how to how to manage that that medium. Um, thank you so much, everybody. You know, have a lot of fun with what you're doing here. And, um, you know, cause that's really what it's all about and I uh, hope to catch you next time. And please, please, please just, you know, stay at home, be safe, be healthy. And yeah, um, we'll all, we'll all get through this and, uh, yeah, and, 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 um, and have a good night.